that day will come in our lives when we will no longer be able to raise our heads and look towards the heavens with appreciation. The last seconds of our lives will arrive and they will arrive when you least expect it. For no one on earth can expand the days of their lives because it is the Lord God who has complete control of our existence. That being said, as I'm sharing those facts with you, there are billions as we speak who are not thinking like me. In fact, many of them are more concerned, let me uh, use this other word, consumed by the latest developments in the COVID world. According to the media, that propaganda machine, now they're going around telling people that there's a brand new variant floating around town called the Omicron. Today, earlier today, was the first time that I heard about this. A, co- a co-worker of mine who I had uh, some delicious chicken soup with in the employee cafeteria shared that information with me. Omnicron. That <laughs> that name reminds me of that planet-sized huge robot called Unicron from the 1986 Transformers movie. <laughs> Those of you who are a fan, who are fans of the series, knows exactly what I'm talking about. But anyway, Omnicron, Unicron, Megatron, whatever Cron, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> What's really going on here? What's really happening? I just didn't want to get run over. <laughs> Looks like the, the elite, the dark rulers of this world, the powers that be, whatever you want to call them, they're basically rolling up their sleeves They're taking off their ties because they are sick and tired of the the resistance from the unvaccinated. Basically, they just simply want them to fall in line. This is what they wanted months ago. And they really thought that they could have their cake and eat it too. But that's not the case. It's taken too long, according to them. So now they are coming out with different variants, different scare tactics, just so that they can manipulate those who decided to uh, take the jab. You know, basically they just want to control their minds so that they can use the, use the vaccinated against the unvaccinated. And why, why is that? What is the bigger picture? Well, if you have been following me on YouTube and Facebook, I have already said this, but it's worth repeating. They have this thing called the New World Order in their pockets, and they simply cannot release the dogs, meaning this agenda of theirs, until everybody's on the same page with them. Right now, in their sight, There are a lot of resistance soldiers out here who don't want to play on the same team with them. You know, it's like those movies like uh, like Terminator, Terminator 2, Judgment Day. You know, you have the robots and then you have the humans. That's what's going on right now, you know? And let me also add in the Matrix. The Matrix has been in existence for many years and it's becoming more and more evident. Right now, there are billions of people who refuse to, uh, to be uh, unplugged. they rather remain in the system. they rather obey the system, agree with the system, and even die for the system. And uh, 
that's what's going on guys so in closing i just want to say this uh to my brethren it is written in the scriptures according to matthew chapter 24 verse 6 if i'm not mistaken the lord christ our groom remember we are the bridegroom and he is the groom i mean we are the bride and he is the bridegroom let me correct myself when he said all these things must come to pass so don't be afraid don't be troubled by these things the end is not here yet so for those of you in christ jesus who are wondering who are thinking scratching your heads saying to yourself how can i respond to this how can i continue to move forward with my life how can i communicate this to an unbeliever so that that believer will be on the same page with with christ you know all these questions listen just follow christ by behaving like him by loving like him by being patient like him by being strong like him because it is written in the scriptures that we have to be strong in him and not in ourselves when we show christ through our actions that will cause those unbelievers around you to say you know what <laughs> yeah that guy he's one of them he's a christian you know and even though there are many mockers in that unbelieving camp there are some within that uh, department store who will look at the believers some of them and they will say you know what even though i disagree with their belief system I just got to give them some props because, hey, you know, that's their, you know, that's where they stand and this is where I stand. You know, I'm sharing that because there are some logical unbelievers out there. You know, I just wanted to place the spotlight upon that fact. So, Christians, how should we, how should we respond to this Omnicron thing? Sounds like a robot. <laughs> Sounds like some animated uh, <laughs> movie or whatever. Don't, don't, listen, I'm not going to give you my opinion. I'm going to give you scripture because we are supposed to live by scripture. Fear not, for I am with you. It is also written, don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God every detail of your needs and thank him for all he has done. And then the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, We'll guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. All right, how you doing? In Christ Jesus, my Lord. Throughout all scripture, he said, don't be afraid. And he also said, I will be with you all the way to the end of this age. From cover to cover, from Genesis to Revelation, the Lord God made it clear to his, to his children not to worry about nothing. Expect the unexpected and overcome evil with good, according to Romans 12, 21. You know, memorize scripture, swim in scripture, live in scripture. You know, it's all, it has to, scripture has to be the center in your life. When you don't, when you are looking for the answers, turn to the scriptures because the scriptures has the answers. This is the preacher man signing out. May the Lord Yeshua, Mashiach, bless you all and your loved ones. And in Yeshua's holy name, I say all these things. Amen. Peace.